Hi there, I'm going to use Orchidia to generate a sample database um, that I will use um, as an electroacoustic or um, electronic in an electronic part of uh, a composition. So um, I'm using right now a, a workspace that is proposed, kindly proposed by um, the Orchidia team that we will find in the tutorials, the fifth one in the bottom of the page. Here it is. Very clear, neat, and robust. So you use it as it is or tweak it to your um, needs. All right. And what I'm going to do uh, is that I'm going to uh, first generate um, a DB file, a database file of a, uh, a unique or f only for um, um, one instrument, which is the alto saxophone um, instrument that is included in the um, tiny soul database. So I'm going to use the um, um, DB uh, generator uh, module that you'll find in the module side in the tutorials, DB gen, okay. Uh, so I'm going to drag and drop the uh, folder, the instrument folder. Here you go, so it is in progress and I have a file here that is generated and I'm going to uh, drop it in a main interface. I'm using a, um, a bell sound um, target. Okay. There it is. And now, as you uh, may notice, we have the different instruments included in the database. And once I drag and drop the um, this generated file, you notice that um, it proposed um, only one instrument. So I leave it. Um, and uh, I choose only one instrument. The dynamic. Um, position of the uh, onset threshold and only one solution for the sake of this uh, um, example. I um, check the box for the output files so that to, to uh, have the output generated files, the dynamic and all the segments used to, to create the dynamic solution and I leave um, all the um, Orchidia solve um, um, engine parameters are as they are proposed in the, the tutorials for, for the moment. Uh, they suit me. Okay, I think uh, this is everything is all right. So I also implemented uh, in this workspace in the DB query uh, object, which is uh, here in the second position, and this um, DB query. Um, allows me to um, uh, retrieve a, a plane size, the instruments in the database, the pitches, the dynamics. So here I am retrieving the styles, the extended techniques, and um, also the, um, um, uh, the dynamics. Okay, so here for the sake of the Example, I'm going to um, choose the alien plane style. No, um, no dynamic for the moment, but of course, uh, you. I mean, if you retrieve them, you will find them also in the in the menu file in the menu file. Um, so um, I think everything is ready here. So I'm going to. Uh, all the straight, and I'm using as a target uh, here the the bell sound. Okay. Okay. So you have the symbolic outcome for for the moment. I am not going to take care of this, but I'm going to uh, show you the audio out file. So here we are. 
you have all the uh, files concerning the features and the connection summary and here the audio file let's listen to the uh, solution Okay, so I'm going to leave aside this um, sound file. What interests me here is the segments uh, output. So uh, what I want to do, is, what I want to do is uh, um, classifying this sound files according to the centroid features, which concerns mainly the um, brightness of the sound, and also um, according to my different. Um, um, retrieving parameters, the dynamic ones I'm going to classify also according to the, the plane size. So uh, what I'm going to use, I mean, um, to avoid um, spending much time listening and, uh, to all the files and organ organizing them by hand, so I'm going to use another um, um, feature here in Orchidia that you will find in the browsing solution. It is an advanced feature, and um, here we use uh, another library, which is uh, uh, apart from the Bach library, which is the Dada library. So we have here the database, which is a kind of SQL base, and also the Dada Cartesian, which looks like the um, scatter plot in the Catart application. All right, so let's see the outcome of the solution. So here it is. I have the uh, different uh, uh, segments here represented in the x-axis uh, for the centroid. So we go from the dull side to the bright side. Okay. And again, this will allow me to uh, segregate the sounds and uh, save them in uh, um, different folders. So why do I use this um, browsing solutions that I do not leave the interface and I can easily listen to the samples, retrieve the name and um, I am implemented a little shell script here to um, create fo different folders and uh, save the different uh, chosen files in the appropriate folders uh, according to the um, uh, the strategies that I choose. So here for instance, um, let's see, now if I choose this one, so I have the this number of the segment in the solution one, I only uh, have chosen one solution, remember? So what I'm going to do, so segment two, so, so what I'm going to do, I'm going first to create a folder All right, I'm going to choose my file, so that's segment two, and I'm going to copy it so I can check here that I have indeed my folder but did not copy the file, so yes, I have to choose the audio file first, hold on, all right. Here we go. It will populate my menu file. I'll choose the second, copy the file, and this time we will find the, the audio file. I'm going to choose another one. These are the same. Okay, so there is segment 52. All right, where it is? Segment 52. Copy file. Of course, we can implement uh, different. Uh, uh, scripts um, to uh, facilitate this uh, operation, this classification. Okay, so here we have the both uh, of uh, the, the samples, but I'm, I'm not going to do all that, uh, of course. I'm going to show you directly the what I've uh, done until now. So as you see, I've classified according to the uh, plane styles. I have approximately 60 samples uh, 
according to the parameters that I've chosen and so that makes five folders of 12 sounds uh, each folder shares can some similar sounds you know yeah, identical sounds so um, yeah, that suits me for a playing uh, strategy that I have chosen I will talk about it in a moment and here you have the different um, dynamic solutions of so we heard the Aeolian style here is the crescendo <laughs> Okay. Backwards. Chosen a strategy to go from a, a noisy to a pitched sound. All right, staccato. We can hear that the rhythmical motifs. Are quite the same. Okay, for the moment, I'm not. Um, I'm going to keep aside these uh, outcomes. Um, I have another strategy for them, but I'm going to talk about one. I'm going to feed a um, probabilistic uh, sample machine with these folders and um, I'm going to play with the weight of the probabilities to uh, uh, play these samples and, or, and also travel from um, the, the noisy to the pitch sound and I'm wondering if um, it suits me for the piece uh, for a moment as I said it's uh, experimental so let's listen a little bit for this Now the uh, strategy that Jan Maresch hinted out in his conference is about creating a, our own database of uh, concrete sounds, electroacoustic sounds, and uh, loading them in the Orchidia um, database generation generator, and using that um, database. Um, um, to um, orchestrate, to, to uh, propose uh, solutions so the uh, Orchidia Solve will 
in that database when analyzing the target and propose solutions so that will be um, the next experimentation and feel free to do it yourself and propose it uh, on this um, um, posts on this uh, subject uh, okay thank you for watching bye